Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, following on from my general repotting video, I just showed some of the things that I had to uh, repot. I've decided to do a couple of slightly uh, closer lookups at, um, at some of the ones that I'm redoing. Now these four seedlings here, well, I think it's four seedlings here, <coughs> um, were actually bought, the seeds were sent from a uh, Spanish friend um, and he described them as Pomerosa, which of course is rose apple. Um, however, the pictures with them, they were not rose apples at all. Um, I think that's just the general term they use in Spain for the Syzygium family. They actually looked like large or elongated lily pilly berries. So I'm suspecting they're probably going to be magenta cherry or uh, another, a variant of that. Sorry, there's a bee floating around my face. Um, so they, if they were magenta cherry, they'd be Syzygium paniculatum. Uh, now that may not be the case. They may simply be a larger fruited lily pilly or perhaps it was just the pictures that gave that impression. Now you'll notice that the leaves are somewhat different in colour. <clears throat> That's actually simply because they were in different windows in my house, one of which was in sort of kind of full sunshine and one of which was is a shaded obscured glass window. So um, obviously that does affect the it does affect the leaf colour on them. Um, they both had some mealy bugs on them, uh, which, but not a major infestation, but still enough to cause minor problems. So what I'm gonna redo is repot the four of them into this size pot, so there's one in each. I'm just gonna pop them into a bog standard potting compost because from what I can see, lily pillies don't need, <coughs> excuse me, these sysigiums don't need any really fancy compost. I think they just like a regular, good quality compost rather than high drainage ones like I've been trying to use on my citrus. Um, I might be proven to be wrong but we'll know within uh, you know three or four weeks if they're thriving okay. I'm also going to leave them outside because I don't think there's any need for them to be in the house whether or not I decide to put one in the house uh, but really at the moment I think they'll be fine outside and that will probably also reduce the infestations of mealybugs because the mealybugs don't really thrive outside plus the natural predators probably eat them as well. I, I don't have any plants outside with mealy bugs on them at all so I guess that's either related to the outside weather or um, or predators. We'll see. Anyway I'm going to pop these uh, up, um, probably just show you at the end of the video what they look like after they're done and I'll give them a good soaking at that point with uh, I've got some water that I put some liquid seaweed in because I think that might benefit them and then I'll just find a nice shady position to put them outside. I don't think that the snails will attack them but we will uh, wait and see and I'll uh, just catch up with the final part of the video. Okay, to, so to conclude the video, I've um, repotted them all now. I thought there were two in each pot but as it happens one of them had three and they were just a bit closely intertwined so I couldn't be sure um, I'm gonna I've given them a good soak as I said with um, water with liquid seaweed in and I'm gonna pop these on the floor next to the citrus in a sort of a fairly uh, shady position where they won't get full sunshine they should be sheltered from the Sun it'll be a little bit cooler as well not that we're getting particularly hot weather coming up this week um, and then what I'll probably have to do in the next day or two is give them a good uh, spray for any remaining mealy bugs on them but I thought I'd just let the plants get settled first and hopefully not keel over from the shock of uh, being transplanted which sometimes happens with seedlings because you can't help but damage the roots but I did water them sometime before I repotted them in the hope that the plants would be fully hydrated so um, I'll have to make sure that I don't let them dry out in the next few days although these this compost are in should hold the moisture quite nicely so those are my uh, seeds that came from Spain I think it might be, be the uh, magenta uh, cherry rather than a lily pilly but we'll only know one day if they ever flower and produce fruit what we're going to get 
so thanks for watching the video I much appreciate it please give me a uh, thumbs up share the video if you think anyone's interested subscribe to my channel and of course click on the bell to get updates on new videos as they come out I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now